Hey guys, Van here. And I'm Kid, and today we will be discussing how to make an AND gate. Now, um, these, we have two, actually three models here. One of them's your basic ground AND gate, which you would usually build under the flooring of your redstone, like of whatever you're making. And over here, you have the one that you can hide in the wall. Now, what an AND gate does is there are two inputs, and they're represented by these two levers here. And the output, which is this redstone lamp, will not be activated until both the inputs are activated. So unless both these levers are giving power, the redstone lamp will not receive power. Now we use this, and our example for, for this video is we use it to make a locking door. Over here is the same idea of um, the both, uh, deploy both levers and bam, the piston deploys. Now. Um, Real quick, we're just going to look at how to make it. You simply have your two inputs, and they lead through some redstone, or there's some redstone wiring into the block with a redstone torch on top. Now, make sure that it's leading into the block and not at the same level of the block. As you can see, it's, it's a level lower than the redstone torch. And you do that on both sides, and you put redstone in the middle of the two. And then, coming off, this, off the block with the redstone on top is another torch and then that torch leads into your output. Now, um, that's basically simply how you make it. As you see when these both deploy, the redstone torches on top light up and the one on the side um, unlights. And vice versa when the levers are... Yeah, you get the idea. And the wall one over here. Now, this one's a little bit hard to explain, but if you look at it, I'm pretty sure you can mimic it. We have the two inputs, and they're a block apart, and then a redstone torch in each. Now this one leads into a repeater, and this one leads into some uh, some redstone wiring, and they both lead down to the same block into a redstone torch, and that redstone torch leads to the output, which in this case is the piston. So did I miss anything, Ben? Um, you probably be know for this one that the top lever can be extended to like whichever floor you need it on. Yeah. Same with the bottom one. So I mean, you aren't bound to have them right like that. Yeah, I mean, the inputs can, um, you can stretch them basically anywhere. Like, if I said, wanted to take the input here and make it all the way over here, that would work just fine. No problem at all. Yep. Now, um, over here, uh, we have built... We, ha we have an actual legit version on the bottom floor, however, we built this one just so you can see the wiring and how it goes. Now if you look right here, this should look fairly familiar. This is the actual AND gate, and the redstone on each side of the torches, those are the inputs. One input leads to this lever on the side of the wall, which is used to lock and unlock the door. Right now, when the, red when the lever is powering, the circuit it is unlocked and now is this input over here goes to a button on the front of the house or I guess in this case it would be a house there would be a house behind this door press the button and it opens now if you'd come over here van and press the button show them oh was just over there yeah okay so and now I'm going to hit the lever and now try it So what happens is since not, since the lever isn't powered, and because of an AND gate, both inputs have to be powered to power the output. Since one of the inputs is not powered, then the output cannot be powered, thus the door cannot open. And the pressure plate here is to, so you can get out of the house easily and overwrite the circuitry altogether. So regardless of whether or not the door is locked or unlocked, from within the house, the pressure plate allows you to exit. Yeah, that takes no wiring, you just kind of put the pressure plate in front of the door. Yeah. Now, um, as you can see, here's also the torch off the side of the block that leads down here into the door. And I did uh, a repeater there just because they power through the block, easily powering the door. Now we're going to go downstairs of Van's Apothecary and show you a model that you can actually use for your own, for your own house. So um, actually, the side that van, this side right here, is actually going to be the front of the house. 
Mm-hmm. And you walk in, like, oh, this is a nice house. Click. It's like, hey, you there. You're a stranger. I don't want you in here. Lock. No, no. You must give me all your diamonds. Hey, hey. Let me let me in. Oh, I, I just saw you go through this door. You know, I went through the wall. You're mistaken. This is like Hogwarts. Oh. I'll see. Hey. So that is how you make a simple AND gate. And um, if you'd like to see, that's just an overview of like our crazy circuitry down there. <laughs> As you can see, you can take what we did up there and compact it even more and make it fit into whatever space you need. And that just takes a lot of trial and error. Now, um, if you'd like some more redstone circuitry tutorials, or maybe to watch our Minecraft Let's Play, or better yet, watch our variety multi epic gaming let's plays then you should definitely subscribe to this channel definitely any last words van before um, before um i leave because i don't like you you smell i crits you i crits you harder Her. uh no you pretty much summed it all up and make sure you keep an eye out guys for any other kind of redstone tutorial videos and various other minecraft creation videos and I would like to say one quick thing. Creepers are high in fiber. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well this has been Van. And um, this has been Kid. And we're signing off. See oh. you guys next time. I got this. No. No. Oh, no, what? my shift key is stuck. Okay. I'll see you next I'll see you next time. Just forget it. Oh, <laughs> okay then.